Dublin. The European rugby capital is home to one of Europe's most successful teams, Leinster. Having won the competition three times and the second tier once, Leinster are always the team to beat. And the beating heart of the Irish capital's team are its fans. We call them the Leinster lunatics that are in there. Um, unbelievable support. Always there, week in, week out. There's been so many big games and moments. Um, some, some absolutely exhilarating, some absolutely debilitating in terms of you know that emotional roller coaster that it provides. Um, I mean, the lows of losing to Munster in 2006 in semi-final, Lands End Road, to the highs of winning our, our, our third European Cup. And, and moments that I will cherish um, till, till I die. Having finally lost their favourite son to the sands of time, will Leinster be able to compete at such a high level in the post-bod world? And we've lost a bit of experience there. We've, we've lost some significant leaders, but I think it, it gives us a little bit younger age profile in the group. The, the obvious disappointment for the season was the, was the performance against Toulon. You know, we went down there knowing how tough a challenge it was and, and we probably didn't perform at our best. But um, you know, we'll be looking to, to, again, get out of our group and, and that's all we can focus on in Europe. I think that Lancer's a machine. Yeah. And on that basis, you know, we've brought in new coaches, we've brought in new players, a great academy system. Some of the guys that are coming through from the academy, absolutely <coughs> class. But it's difficult against the teams like Toulon and there's so much money. But, I, but like with Johnny Sexton coming back, it just shows Lancer to have that team spirit you know money doesn't come into it like you still have the old traditions with Leinster and that's why Johnny Sex is coming back like it's Leinster it's Ireland first up for them this year will be Wasps both teams bouncing back from defeat to triumph on last weekend plus we had some recent experience in the Amlin Cup you know you make a mistake and they turn over a ball they've got pace to kill you you have um, really really good finishers um, who can score a lot of tries and don't need a lot of space either. Like I said, they, they punish mistakes, um, usually with five points, if not seven, um, when you make them. So the first test will come against the Wasps team brimming with confidence. But confidence isn't something the people of Dublin are short of either.